Hello, today we are playing The Longing. This game is possibly going to be my longest Let's Play. Actually, no wait, I'm already effing up. Um, okay, hold on, how do I play? Uh, I did go to Preferences, just to put this at 720. Um, what do I click on to start? Oh yeah, I think um, I clicked on this arrow and it started me. Yeah, I don't know why that starts it. Yeah, I got to this screen and then was like, well, I didn't click the thing that says, like, start the game. So I thought that clicking on anything other than start the game would, like, make it not start. But apparently this arrow makes it start. Okay, yeah, basically what happened is I saw a YouTube video about this game and thought it would be interesting to play. Uh, there's a timer at the top of the screen, and that is how long you have to play for. I'm guessing the timer, you know, I like, I don't know anything about the actual mechanics. Like, there was a, um, like a thing where it talked about the game, but like, I'm assuming that the game timer will continue to tick down even when, uh, you're not playing, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, um. I guess uh, I got a lot of talking to do. This is this is gonna be like a low, um, I don't know. I guess just like a low energy. I guess I guess I'm kind of deadpan most of the time. But what I mean is that um, I'm not gonna have to. Uh, there's not gonna be any like intensity. This is a pretty chill game, and um, so I'm actually gonna have uh, more room in my brain to like talk about stuff. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool because this game is so long to use this as like oh geez I don't know the term but like basically like the episodes I'm gonna like make an episode periodically and uh thought it thought it'd just be um a good way to uh kind of like like uh like chronicle uh my life uh, over the next 400 days is there any uh voice acting So he waited until his powers were like all the all the way faded. Okay, do I have to move or something? How do you walk? Oh. And never to leave these caves. I did check the reviews, and some of the reviews like hinted that there actually is a way to escape the caves. Uh if I've I I mean I sort of hope I don't find it. That way I can actually play for the full amount of time or whatever. Okay, I think I have to click to make the words go by. I shall now sleep for 400 days to gather your remaining strength. Okay. Alright, we got it. Okay, I don't know why I'm like in such a hurry to like start playing. Alright, there we go. Our first second. Oh, I thought we were going to have to start off in total darkness. Uh, so this is my home. A nice place to spend the next 400 days waiting. I'm not going to do a voice for him because, like, he's the only person. So I'm, it would just be me talking in a weird voice. Uh, Okay, so I can move this around. I kind of... Is there a way to play without... Uh... Okay. Oh, jeez. kind of want the mouse cursor, like, not on the screen. Okay, so basically, if you press spacebar, you take like one step. You double tap it, and you take many steps. All right. Um, can I use the controller? I actually haven't even tried that. Uh, controller does not work. Um, do we just click on stuff? It went from a left arrow to an up into the right arrow. I guess there's no hurry. I have 400 days to figure out the controls. Oh, I forgot. Oh, and if you hold the click, you keep walking. Okay, I think I do remember that in the uh, options menu or whatever. Uh, the king warned me that I should never leave these caves. I wonder what exactly he meant by that. Uh, probably not able to. He probably had to find 
like a secret way out or something. I fired places. This room could use a little warmth from time to time. Okay. Wait, I can just check the box. Oh. Need two pieces of flint first. Oh man, it's a crafting game? Jeez. Okay, well, I ain't got Jack, so I guess we ain't doing nothing, uh, nothing, uh, now. I have to click onto the game to be able to use the keyboard. Once I move the mouse... Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, once I move the mouse off, now the keyboard stops working. But it's if I click off. If I don't click, then it doesn't. How do I turn around? I have to point the mouse to get him to... Is there really no way to do this? What's the point of giving him, um... I don't know. I'll, I'll double check the, uh, the controls or whatever. Actually, is there a way to control it here? It's a sound. This is music. It's a guy playing the... I don't know. For a sec, at a glance, I thought it was someone playing the piano. Okay, we have brightness. Let's turn it... Let's turn it all the way up. I mean, it it's still not very bright. What do the rest of these do? What does this do? Oh, controls. So you have walk, hold space, idle walk, double space, and action. You have walk, take a step, and action. What is this down arrow and crown? I don't know what that does. And then this clicks back to the game? No? What does this do? And click and click and drag it? Not sure what that does. How do I get back to the uh the game game? There we go. Time is progressing slow and steady. Slow and steady. Um Oh, what does this do? Use the arrows in this column to remember places. Why do I need to Remember places. Oh, the crown is uh, back. Walk to a random place. Well, it's not random. I'm selecting where to go, right? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go. Okay, so this guy is very bug-eyed. I don't know why he's so surprised. Dude, walk out the thing, dude. There we go. Oops. There we go. Jeez. Okay, Mr. Sleepy Sheepy. Boy, this this um this shade is like the most low energy dude like ever. Like why did uh why does the king trust this guy so much? I think the king will allow me to explore his vast realm, but I better remember the way back. The way the video that I saw made it seem or like it made it sound like I mean, how lot like how lost are we going to get in these caves? There's no need to hurry. I have plenty of time to walk. Yeah, but you could still just walk there and get there sooner. That's what I do when I go to and from work. I just, like, walk fast. I guess if you... Like, if I walk, like, faster to my car, walk faster through the parking lot, walk faster to get to my workstation, then I technically... Like, I can leave the house, like, a little bit later... Or whatever, since, um... Oh, I was about to say, where'd he go? He's behind the thing. I really like these stairs. Okay, why? Okay, up here, I guess, now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess, uh, I mean, obviously, if some people are, like, overweight, they can't walk fast, but... I just don't see why you wouldn't. If you're, like, young enough to and able to, you know. I mean, I'm... <clears throat> I'm a, I'm 36, almost 37, and I can still walk fast. So it's like, why would you not just walk fast? I don't know. Well, I mean, if you if you're just trying to like get somewhere, you know, it's different if you're just like taking a stroll to enjoy the scenery or something. But okay, I'm already kind of annoyed at how slow he goes. Is that the whole, like, I see something lying on the ground. Uh, pick up. A lump of coal, I will keep you safe, my little brother. He's already reached that level of loneliness where he's naming, uh, he's personifying or whatever inanimate objects. 
But, um, yeah, I don't know. And then it just sucks when you get, like, stuck behind him. And sometimes you can't, like, get around him if you're in, like, the the aisle or whatever. There's, like, a guardrail to keep forklifts from crashing into pedestrians or whatever. Okay, uh, in the door? Enter door. Yes, please. Store hasn't opened in a long time. It might take a while. Oh, great. Can I pay, like, a dollar to make the door open, like, faster? So just because the door hasn't opened in a while, why does that mean that it takes a long time to open? Do we even get a timer on how long it takes? It probably takes at least a minute if I had to guess. Oh wait, it is actually opening very, very slowly. Okay, can you just like turn sideways and like slip in there, dude? That's what happened at work. They have they have to do, uh, give us like temperature checks uh, before we go in or whatever, and then we have to scan our badge and then like and then like exit the door or whatever to get into the main plant or whatever. And I guess someone like they said that people were like going in backwards or whatever, like they were trying to exit through that checkpoint or whatever. So they made it so okay, that actually wasn't too long. Does that mean it'll open faster next time since? Since now it's been open more recently, right? It seems like a great place to be lonely. I better remember the way. I don't think you do remember the way. Um, but um, you know, geez, what was I saying? I already forgot. I'm not. I don't even have the gameplay to distract me, and I'm still forgetting what I'm talking about. Just get in this door, jeez. Dude, walk in the door, please. Jeez. Okay, so is this going to take like 10 minutes to walk through this room? Jeez. But, uh, any oh yeah, anyway, I was talking about the name badge thing. So you have to scan your badge. God dang it, dude. Taking a stroll in these magnificent halls is sure a fulfilling occupation. But it's not your occupation to walk through the halls. Is that a drop of something? Am I supposed to pick this up? Pick up the thing. The icon appeared. What's up with this drop? What's dripping from the ceiling? Oh, now the coal. Hold on. Dude, da -da -da -da. hold on. Now there's coal over here. There's two pieces. I think they just, do they just spawn randomly? But does uh, someone try to make it go backward? Someone tried to go through it backwards, which I don't know why the hell you would. I'm looking for something in these caves. I'm just not sure what. Are you looking for something in these caves? I don't even see what this is. A lump of coal, okay. It was like in the blackened area. I would need, like, the Hawkeye to see it. Okay, is this another, some kind of other resource or something? This dripping, uh, black stuff from the ceiling? But anyway, the point that I'm trying to get to is that, um, it's not, e because they went backwards or whatever, the next person can't go through the checkpoint until the person scans their badge, exits the door, and the door shuts behind them. So when I started, so, I know, like... Normally it's pretty quick getting through, but then one day I I go in like I go in and there's this big giant huge line, and it's because the process has been like slowed down significantly. Well, granted, on the first day, no one's gonna know. Like the dude has to tell each person that they have to that they excuse me can't go through until the uh, door locks behind the other person. I suppose I go over here. Can I not go this way? Can I not go into the, the blackness? There's like stairs leading to, to nowhere. Is there really nothing here? Does the icon uh, like change or anything? Oh, okay, now it decided to just work? Oh, this looks like a thing, can I pick this up? This red uh, jam? Oh wait, there's also a coal here I think, right? Oh wait, no, that's a drip spot? 
Oh, does it drip for a while and then eventually it turns into coal? Is that the idea? Like it's showing it's like a it's like a cooldown sort of. Where that's where coal's going to appear after a certain amount of time. Piece of clay. Now I have some red color for my paintings. Okay. Uh down or up? I don't know. Let's try going up. But um Yeah, it just kinda God dang dude, shut the hell up. Uh loneliness is real. Is that how you spell loneliness? I think it is. Just sometimes the font can make a word like look like it's spelled wrong. But uh yes, this is a real timer. This is uh this is uh this is real how long this takes. There's people out there that are going to start this game that are going to die before they finish it. Man. I can't freaking believe it. Is there more than one song? Or do we have to listen to these? This like ambient song or whatever. For like a thousand years. Well, you would think that going through like the door way would be like easier. Oh, I have to like just click like, like past it and he'll walk through it or whatever. Uh, okay, so now we're up top. Is that good? Can I just click over? Can I just click over here? All right. So that should, the screen should transition. All right. Uh, down? I don't know. Go through this door. Oh wait, there's a jam right here. Hey, turn around, Holmes. Pick this bad boy up. Alright. So is the crafting like, I'm guessing it's not that deep, right? I've never understood life. Okay, are, is there going to be like constant messages? Pl like other constant messages like planned out? Over the course of 400 days. Well, I guess not, because you would miss a bunch of them while the game was off. Well, I guess I don't technically know if the timer keeps going while it's off. Well, technically, that would make the game last longer than 400 days. If, um, like, it's 400 days worth of playtime. Which is more than 400 days, like, in general. Okay, I think that, did the song change? Piece of wood. Uh, oh my god. Oh wait, I already went into the left door, I think, right? Let's go into the, this, uh, this right, uh, this door to the right of the left door. Some people call that the middle door. But I messed up and I was like, uh, maybe I can save it. Okay, so now we're back here. I started, I, I did one time go from here down to here. Was there another option uh, in this right door, I wonder? Let's pick this guy up. So you just have to keep an eye out for the thing right here. I wonder if there's ever going to come a point where I have so much coal that I just ignore it. But uh, part of the reason I'm doing this is because uh, today is November 7th, 2020. And that is my... Today is my four-year anniversary of when I first uploaded my first video uh, to YouTube. It was uh, the game Smartball. And I totally did the Let's Player thing where um, I started playing. And then, like, your first like your first video ever, first time being on the mic or whatever, uh, first time, you know, recording or whatever. And uh, I died in, like, the first 30 seconds. And I've seen other Let's Players do it, so I'm, I, w I was totally not surprised that it happened to me. Sometimes I want to stop walking and just sit down to think. Okay, well, you can walk and think at the same time, dude. Okay, uh, I have a feeling I'm already, like, lost. Like, uh, have I been in here? I don't think I have, but maybe I have. Enter door. Okay, where does this take me? 
Yeah, I wonder like how big this area is. Is this gonna be like actually massive? Or am I gonna get it all explored in like the next 10 minutes? And then we're just gonna be in familiar territory for the whole game. Why did the thing turn blank for a minute? Can I pick this thing up? It looks like a, like a knife sticking out from this pillar. But uh, I guess something that's been something that's been like semi-important to me. I'm not sure if other people feel the same way, or how many of them, or whatever. But um, pick up. I can't pick it up. The sheet of paper will be useful for my art studies. I wonder where it came from. It was three paper. Can I pick up this? Uh, I'm guessing there would be like music on that, on that, uh, in that book or whatever. I hope the king doesn't mind if I borrow one of his books. I now have five X books. Well, maybe he wouldn't mind if you borrowed one, but you borrow like five. You might be like, dude, like I was like, you're kind of overstepping, uh, or what do you call it? Like taking advantage of my generosity. I was, I would let you have one, but five, like, dude, come on, man. It's like when you order, uh, when someone pays for your meal. You just order, like, the most expensive thing. It's like, dude, what the hell, man? Okay, second uh, floor. Can I pick this up? This appears to be uh, a piece of paper on the thing. It doesn't look like paper, but it looks similar to the thing we picked up in the other room that turned out to be paper. But anyway, my point, jeez. I can't believe I'm still getting sidetracked with this game. Maybe he, Maybe after a little while, he finally stops talking. Okay, pick up the paper. Huh. So, did I start off with two paper? Or did that one paper give me three, and then that last one... How many... Oh, jeez. How many did it say I had? Did I get... Did I get one or two from that most recent one? Oh, wait. The thing disappeared. I could have swore that there was a piece of coal here. I don't know. Maybe it vanished. Alright. Enter door. But, uh, yeah, I mean, but, uh, what I was trying to get to earlier is that, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, um, like, uh, like four year anniversary is, uh, is pretty cool. I think back and even, even four years, it seems like forever ago, like even in just four years, like my life is so different than what it was. And I want to say it's also the same in a lot of ways. But it's kind of not. I had, um... I'd started my new job. I was about... I forget how long it's been, but... I was already not working at Taco Bell. And I recently just hit five years... At the, uh... The company I work for now. And it's just so crazy to think, like, five years, man. Five years working in the same place. I work in a I work in a in a uh, a motor factory. It's just a it's just an assembly job. And um I'm trying to think. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like my birthday's coming up pretty soon and you know, birthdays are just a time to like pick up. I don't I didn't even see that. Oh. You know, birthdays and anniversaries are just a time to just like you know, just reflect on the past and stuff. And it's just... I just think it's cool to... To think that, like, the decision to work at this... At this factory, as opposed to just staying at Taco Bell... Has changed my life a lot. I would say that as much as my job isn't perfect... And it's a union job, so my pay is, like, stuck... Like, I'm, you know, I'm, like, my pay is, like, anchored down with everyone else's or whatever. They can't have it where it's, like, merit-based. Where the good employees would get more. And the sucky employees would get less. Everyone makes the same. If you're doing the same kind of work or whatever. So, on the one hand, that's kind of unfair. You know, especially to the, um, to the harder-working people. Uh, what a meaningless ascent. I now have one X disappointment. Is that an actual, like, item in my inventory? How do you check your inventory? What is this? I don't think that's anything. 
What's the deal with all these boxes? Is something going to fill up these boxes, I wonder? Every, like, 20 days, you get a box, like, you get, like, a stamp or something? Yeah, I don't know. There's got to be some way to check your inventory, right? What happens if I just click the time? Oh, this just... Okay. What does this do? Let's go back. Where does it take you back to? Oh, you can you can hit back and it'll take you back to um, a spot that you remembered. You can hit this. That's kind of a cool thing. You can remember a spot. It's like a way. It's like a um, not a waypoint, like a checkpoint or whatever. And then you can pick which one to walk to. That's kind of cool. Except I, if I click something, can I override it? Let me just see if I can override it. Okay, I can. Okay, did I come out of the right door or the left? Man, I don't know. My memory is, like, super terrible. Recently, I've been watching videos on YouTube about um, people with CTE. I forget what it stands for, but it's basically um, when you're a boxer for too long and just repeated blows to the head and... You get what's called, they call it punch drunk. I thought that punch drunk was just when you're like wobbly from getting punched in the head a lot. And like you're trying to get up or whatever and the ref's counting and you can't quite get up or whatever. Or you you do like the chicken dance or the stanky leg or whatever and you can't quite, you're not stable on your feet. I thought that's what punk drunk, punch drunk meant. But apparently it means like when you, when a person, when a boxer gets like brain damage, they like lose the ability to like speak and eventually like their mental state can get so bad that like they can't like take care of themselves or they can't they can't walk and they can barely communicate and they they resemble like an autist you know i saw this one dude he was in a wheelchair he resembled like an autistic person like he could communicate but like the person had to get like all up in his face and repeat and repeat themselves like 10 times and and uh you can only talk in like one or two word like he could they can only talk in like one or two word bursts back and forth to each other this jump is too exciting for my taste. I better wait for that stalactite to come down first. I guess that could happen in a week. Okay. I don't know how he would know that. But, uh, yeah, there were a few, like, scenes in the game that they showed that were noteworthy. Like this one, for example. You have to wait for that thing to fall. I saw, a pic I saw like, a video of it falling. So somebody actually... Um, so some YouTube creator actually, like put the was like made sure to be recording at the exact moment that it fell just so they could get the uh the footage of it falling to put in the video it's like that's pretty hardcore uh i like the smell of earth okay bruh you could really use someone to like talk to to brush up on your uh your verbal skills But it was, like, sad. Like, a lot of that stuff happened, like, before I was born. So, I think Muhammad Ali was, like, a super sad case. Because he used to be, like, a like a fast talker or whatever. And then he just got, like... If you watch, like, the progression of, like, interviews, like... I think I saw one in, like, 1974. And he was, like... I get that when you're not in, like, you know, Ric Flair mode. You're just going to talk normal instead of, like... Instead... Oh, geez. Pick it up. Pick it up. And then I have to re-click... To tell him to keep moving. All right. But uh, I get that when you're just having like a normal discussion, you're not going to be as like fired up or whatever. But dude was starting to talk like slow, man. And then by the time I think, like, what was it, 1981 or something like that? Like, it was noticeable. He was noticeably slower. I wish I had someone to talk to, but I can still talk to myself. After all, I just need to sit down for a while and sort out my thoughts. Okay, that's two times that he mentioned that. Is that actually some sort of gameplay mechanic? Sitting down and thinking or whatever. Kind of wish I knew how much coal I need. So I think I can just hold and you'll keep walking, I think, right? Oh, but it's, like, sad to just, like, watch... To, like, watch, like, like, um, like footage of them boxing and footage of them... Like, talking about a fight or whatever, or talking about what they thought of a fight they just did, and they're... 
and they're like speaking fast or whatever and then it gets to the point where like they're so their speech gets so slurred that like you can hardly understand them it's like it's so sad and it kind of like i just don't understand why um oh by the way yeah and freaking uh, even Muhammad Ali was like, he was like talking slow. He was clear. There was clearly something wrong with him. But then um, he was talking about like a future fight that he was going to do. And I'm just like, dude, why would anyone let him fight in that condition? Like he's clearly got cognitive decline. So the fact that they allowed him to fight while he was in that condition, he was at the point where like every blow to the head is going to make it like that much harder for him to like live a good quality of life later on, you know. Uh, there's moss growing down there. I better wait till there is enough to guarantee a soft landing. I guess it will take about two weeks. Okay, so I can't straight up jump. All right. I should hit remember. I should start hitting remember on spots. Okay, so when I put the when I put the thing over it, that's like indicating that spot. Is that is it remembered it now, right? Did I do it? Maybe I didn't do it. Let me just see what happens if I hit this. Okay, he walks back to that area. Then what's the purpose of this crown indicating back? But uh, yeah, I mean I just don't understand why anybody would want to be a boxer seeing that. I mean, there are people that, um, like, you just have to, I think the trick, like, you have to not take, there's a, like, you have to not box for that long. And then the time you do box, you have to, like, not get hit a certain amount. But, like, how, there's no way of, like, knowing. You have to wait until brain damage starts occurring before you know that you're starting to get brain damage from fighting too much or you got hit too many times. By the time you realize you got hit too many times, I think it disappeared. It's one of those things where by the time you start to have decline, you've already had like massive amounts of damage done or whatever. It's just that your brain is able to like compensate to a point, you know, but then it gets to the point where it can't compensate and you actually get actual like symptoms or whatever that other people can notice. Why do they put the pickup thing all the way in the upper right corner? And I'm trying to go all the way down here because, like, there's a chance I might like miss it. Well, I guess I had to put it somewhere. But you know, I like our our young boxers, like up and coming boxers or whatever, or people that want to box. Like, they should be like shown those videos to be like, this could be you. You know, like. You might attain glory, but it comes at a price. And I think they asked a guy who had, like... He had, like, moderate decline. Like, he was still able to, like, hold a conversation. But he definitely had some degree of decline. And they asked him... Sometimes a beautiful melody is playing in my head. Man, dude. And they asked him if he thought it was worth it. And he said... He thought for a second. And he said, yeah, he thinks it was worth it. Uh, one of the reasons is because he, uh, they said he, he put his family name on the map. Like, he made his family, like, like well-known or whatever. And he made his, his father happy. And, uh, no offense, Dad, but I'm not going to get brain damage to make you happy, dude. Uh, a defeat. I now have two disappointments. I actually didn't think that would do anything. I just clicked it cuz. I'm like, well, I came all the way down here. Might as well click something. But, uh, yeah, it... Like, I just don't know why they would do it. And even Muhammad Ali back in 1974, when he started to have decline, why would he keep fighting? Like, is the urge for glory, like, you know, like, what's the point of glory? If you're, you know, 50 years old with the brain of a 200 year old person, like you, like, like his final, like, years or whatever was like, it was like sad. I saw a video where they showed like a photo shoot. He couldn't even stand up or whatever. So people are like squatting down to like have their picture taken with them. It was like an event or something, some kind of event. And at what like at what point do you, do you go like okay these people are, seem to be like exploiting him or something? 
It just didn't seem... I don't know. It just seemed like he, they shouldn't have rolled him out and, like, put him in public or whatever, in like, in that condition, you know? Okay, this thing appeared to, like, wiggle a little bit. It's like in, uh... Like it, like, um... What do you call it? Like, the, those, like, Antoids from Earthbound. 